Our next guest channeled his passion for film and his people into creating the first American Black Film Festival. And that was 18 years ago. Wow. Wow. And now that festival has become one of the most important annual events on the Hollywood calendar. Here to discuss the festival, which kicks off in New York for the first time ever this week, is founder Jeff Friday. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, it's thank good you. to be here. 18 thank years. It's a long time. Does it, it seem that long time. for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I call it pre-gray, you know. Pre <laughs> well, take us back to 1997. Good. Why did you decide to create this festival, yeah. and did you really feel it was needed? Yeah, you know, I went to, uh, I had a friend that was in the Sundance Festival mm -hmm. in 1997, and she asked me to come. She was in one of the movies. And I went to support her, and I found myself really enthralled by the energy of an independent film. I had never seen an independent festival before, mm -hmm. but what I did not see was diversity. Got you. I saw this vibrant environment of people sharing ideas and hugs and, and, and this creative explosion. I saw five people of color there. Really? And it's changed Ooh. very much now, but yeah. this was 1997. So I, the interesting thing that happened that year was the film that won the Audience Award. So in spite of the lack of diversity, mm -hmm. The film that won the audience award was a film that most of us love called Love Jones. You guys remember no, that? No, are you How kidding? Can you I've, I've only seen it <laughs> about times, right? 800 times. <laughs> so Neil Long and Lorenz Tate, that was their, not their first film, but their, their breakout, breakout movie had the best soundtrack ever, if you yes. remember that. Mm -hmm. And so I left Sundance. Lauren Hill, Dion Ferris, everybody was on that. that. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I left Sundance saying to myself, are there other black filmmakers? And the film was uh, directed by a young brother named Ted Witcher out of mm -hmm. Chicago. And I said to myself, are there other films like this that need a platform to be seen by the, by the world? And I, I went back to New York. I was working. I was head of an advertising agency here in the city. And I went to lunch, and I decided to do this festival over a hamburger, basically. Are you kidding? No, no, I'm not kidding at all. Wow. And uh, that so was how did January you go from of '97. A hamburger, <laughs> a hamburger lunch to actually making it a reality. You have to have a lot of faith, you know, mm -hmm. and and you have to be committed to to your community, and that's what I've been this whole time. So it's been 18 years, but it started just like that. I went to Sundance. I didn't see people of color. I wanted to to develop something that would empower other black people to make movies. And it did. And the first year, we had 100 people there. And we were in Acapulco, believe it or mm. not. And uh, by the fifth year, we had 3,000 people there. And so it's grown. And we're expecting about 50,000 50, here in New York. This yes, year? in New York, yes, now, absolutely. Now, um, this is the first time it's in New York. Yes. So what took so long? Uh, Why did it take you so long to come to the Big good Apple? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of nasty letters. But, you, know, you, you know, after eight, after 17 years, we wanted to. We felt like it deserved a bigger stage. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd never been here, and we'd never been covered in the Times and some other very uh, well-known publications and media outlets. And we just thought that it was it was time for for more folks to know what we do. Yeah. Mm. And uh, it has actually worked for us. We're very pleased at the level of coverage we've gotten. And over the years, you all have honored everyone from Ozzy Davis and Melvin Van Peebles and Suzanne Dupas, Queen Latifah, Gabrielle Union. The list goes on. Mm -hmm. So who can we expect to walk home with a prize this year? Well, I can't give you a tip oh, on the film. You know why? The films are in competition. Okay, fair but enough. But what I will tell you is our opening film is Think Like a Man 2. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. And here's a full circle connection. The, the brother who produced the film, his name is Will Packer. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. And he was in our festival in 1998 as, as a newbie. You're kidding. So his very first film was in, at, in, at our festival in 1998. And he promised me that every movie that he did from that point on, I guess he's had a vision mm -hmm. of being successful in Hollywood. Some people can see it. And uh, he has brought every one of his films back to us. He did Takers and he did This Christmas. Mm -hmm. So every one of his theatrical releases done in conjunction with Sony have premiered at our event. That's fantastic. And then we close with my good friend and, and icon, Spike Lee. Yes. His, his, uh, his next film is called The Sweet Blood of Jesus. But which, it's not a Dracula horror film. And don't say, don't say I Dracula because he'll beat you I up. Know. I know. I've heard. It's, it's, it's a film about people's obsession with blood. Got mm -hmm. you. And I saw it recently, and it's very good, and it's very different. You've never seen anything like this. Okay. So this is a Spike Lee joint that you haven't seen before. So what else should we be checking out at the festival? Uh, uh, what are your well, top one or two well, or three Ozzie, recommendations? The Ruby D, Ruby D film. I oh. mean, Miss D just passed this week, as you guys know, last week. And uh, one of our Spotlight film is a documentary about her life with her husband, Ozzie Davis, yeah. called Life Essentials with Ruby Dee. 
So we're opening with a, a brand new film from, you know, Think Like a Man. We're closing with the Spike Lee joint. And right in the middle, we've got probably, probably the most meaningful movie we could have about what I, I consider Cicely Tyson and Ruby Dee the queens of black cinema. Mm, mm -hmm. definitely. So we're feeling really good about what we have. And in between, we've got Felicia Rashad in the conversation. Yes, and that's going to be incredible. We've got a Spike Lee retrospective, and we've got some really amazing And there's things. a Jay-Z documentary, too. There's a Jay-Z mm -hmm. documentary, an un unauthorized <clears throat> documentary about his life, yeah. an HBO short film competition. So and we, Morris Chestnut is oh, the ambassador. Oh, uh, <laughs> you had her at that. <laughs> I, I had you at Morris Chestnut. You had me at Morris. We have a panel called The Leading Man. And I, I, you guys know that President Obama um, created an initiative this year to get African-American men to look at themselves as leaders for the next mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. My Brother's Keeper initiative is what it's called. So we're doing a panel with black actors. We've got Amari Hardwick, we've got Morris Chestnut, and Stephen Bishop talking about what is the responsibility of black actors to project a positive, a positive image for young black men in America. Wow. So we've got a lot of substance, a lot of sizzle, and uh, we're looking forward to a great week. Well, so many great projects on display. How do you go about picking which ones can be in the film? Because I'm sure you receive thousands of it's, submissions. It's and so, how can people submit the, the work to you? Yeah, well, it's, the process starts in November. It's about a four-month process, okay. and we got over 1,000 films. I, I, I watched about 780 films this year. You are kidding. And 50 make it. 50, and I it. calculated in 18 years, I've, I've watched 30,000 independent films in 18 years. 30,000? I, 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 I think I have the record. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Oh, my goodness. That does sound like a Guinness Book of World Records. I think I, let's, let's look it up. <laughs> but it's great because you get to, you know, the benefit is you get to see what, what our people think. I, I kind of yeah. feel like I have an insight into the head of our culture that most people don't have. So it's, for, so it's a joy for, it's a lot of movie watching, yeah. but it's a joy for me to see what, particularly our youth, to see what our youth are, what, what really think. After having watched 30,000 films, how long does it take you to determine if something is worthy of the mm. festival or not? Well, we have a jury that does that, so okay. I'm not the only person. There's a, there's a jury of about 13 people who watch the films. But 10 minutes in, are you like, this is a stinker? Well, or well, do you give it well, like 15 there's minutes? There's a five minute rule. Okay. If okay. it's a stinker, it's gone in five. Okay. But I will tell you, <laughs> over the 18 years, the, the ratio of stinkers is, re is reducing. So we're, we're seeing more and more films that, that deserve to be there. Unfortunately, we only have 50 or 60. I think we have 52 films over the course of the week. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming more competitive. But at the end of the day, you want our bar to be very high. Mm -hmm. Because I don't see our festival any different than Sundance or Tribeca or Toronto or Cannes. It's just focused on, on black people. And it's, and it's black, the diaspora black. It's not African American. Okay. So we want our bar to be just as high as these other festivals are. And so we're, we're proud that it's competitive. Right. We, we wouldn't feel as satisfied, satisfied if it was not as competitive as it is. Well, we're definitely going to be there, but tell our viewers how they can also get tickets for the festival. Well, the website is uh, www.abff.com. Okay, mm -hmm. ABFF And the uh, on-site sales, the walk-up sales start on Thursday morning okay. at the Marriott here in Manhattan. So the, the website has all the information. All right. We look forward to seeing the whole city. Thank I you. promised the uh, mayor that we'd break a festival, a festival record for attendance, so... All right, 50,000 like, it like, is. I then. like to keep my promises. Okay. <laughs> well, we're there, so yes, two down. 48,000. 48,000. to go. Oh, good. <laughs> You're on your way. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, it. Shannon. Thank and you, you're watching Horizon Entertainment 360.